also a double height art gallery and a recording studio Frank used to use. Outside the home, you'll find multiple patios and decks, a greenhouse, a swimming pool, a rooftop tennis court, and rooftop gardens. Stephanie Germanotta, who we all know as Lady Gaga, has become what I would call one of the biggest stars of our time. It might have taken her a while to rise to the top, but now at the age of 33, she has built an empire and does it all. If you've seen her 2017 documentary, Gaga 5 Foot 2 Like Me, then you've gotten a glimpse into her home as well as her life, and it's clear that her hard work and success has paid off. Lady Gaga currently owns more than one property, and her main home that was featured in the dock is an impressive mansion in Malibu. Lady Gaga's sanctuary in Malibu, as she likes to call it, is apparently also where Bradley Cooper offered her the starring role of Ali in his movie, A Star Is Born. Lady Gaga ended up winning an Oscar for best song from that movie, and I'm totally not surprised. I love the entire soundtrack of that movie, and I've seen it multiple times, it just doesn't get old. Lady Gaga is a singer, songwriter, and actress, and the woman is clearly multi-talented. At the moment, she has 38.2 million followers on Instagram. Although she's been a Hollywood star for years now, she's kept her eccentric and unique style that's one of her signatures. With all the crazy outfits she's rocked in the past, you can count on Gaga skipping a walk-in closet and instead having a full room for her clothes. I don't think she would have kept her meat dress though, because that would have been a little nasty. But we'll talk more about her closet in a little while. Although there's a lot that's unknown about Lady Gaga's finances, her net worth is estimated at 300 million. With that kind of money, you already know the artist is definitely living in her dream house, or houses. First off, Lady Gaga has more than one property under her belt. One interesting purchase she made was the former home of late musician Frank Zappa. The identity of the buyer was private, but rumor is that it was Gaga who bought the place, and sources on the web confirm it. Lady Gaga bought this place in 2018 for $5.25 million, which is a huge difference from the price Mr. Zappa paid back in the 70s. He paid around 75 k This home is on just over half an acre of land, and the Tudor-style house is over 6,700 square feet with six beds and seven baths. There's also an attached staff apartment and two detached guest houses. Frank was certainly a one-of-a-kind artist, and his house reflected that. There are one-of-a-kind features all over the house like the dragon mural in the dining room and porthole windows and doors taken from submarines. We know Lady Gaga seems to love things that are unique and different, so maybe that's one reason she wanted this house. There was also a double height art gallery and a recording studio Frank used to use. Outside the home, you'll find multiple patios and decks, a greenhouse, a swimming pool, a rooftop tennis court, and rooftop gardens. Lady Gaga may have bought this place, as far as we know she isn't living there. It could have just been a super cool investment property and maybe she has some plans for it in the future. Let's move on to Gaga's real estate in the Big Apple. She's a New York native and has called NYC home for a really long time. She revealed in an interview with Vogue that she got rid of her previous house there, stating it was too hectic every day outside on the street. Well, that's how I feel about NYC too. Anyway, it seemed Lady Gaga couldn't stay away from the city for long, considering last year she bought a new home there. She started her house hunting right after her Star is Born co-star Bradley Cooper bought a multi-million dollar penthouse there. Not sure what's up with that timing, but she ended up finding a place. Lady Gaga's new NYC mansion is located in the trendy area of West Chelsea and it's split over five floors, including a cellar and a rooftop terrace. In NYC, that kind of space is a true miracle. The home is 11,000 square feet with an additional 2,000 square feet of outdoor space. There are five bedrooms and 12 baths, some of which are powder rooms. All of the bedrooms in this NYC mansion have ensuite bathrooms, but the master bedroom is something even more impressive. Gaga's master suite takes up its own floor of the house and has two bathrooms, a kitchenette, and a giant walk-in closet and dressing room. The living room is massive, sitting at 26 by 23 feet and has a modern looking glass fireplace as well. The previous owner was a designer himself, so of course the decoration of the place is something special. There are beautiful chandeliers, plenty of double height glass windows, walls of mirrors and more. Definitely fancy. Other features of Lady Gaga's NYC mansion include a garage, a personal gym, a wine cellar, home movie theater and a pool with an attached steam room and sauna. 
There's also a hot tub on the rooftop terrace and you already know you're getting perfect views of the NYC skyline from there. Although NYC might be a little too hectic for the mega famous star now, Lady Gaga probably always feels drawn to the city because it was her home and where she grew up. Now she has a huge mansion to enjoy when she's there, a big difference from the apartment she lived in as a kid. All right, can you describe New York City in three adjectives? Gritty, fun, and bright. Finally, onto the main attraction. Lady Gaga's Malibu home. This was the place we saw her living in her dock 5'2". She purchased the place back in 2014 and it's located in Malibu, overlooking Zuma Beach, offering some of the best ocean views. It's a one-of-a-kind property covering 6 acres and the house is over 10,000 square feet. Her home is also where Bradley Cooper offered her the leading role alongside him in A Star Is Born. He saw her perform the song La Vie en Rose at a benefit in a friend's backyard and knew she was the right choice. He set up a meeting, Lady Gaga invited Bradley over to her home the next day and the rest was history. Gaga said about her home, This is my sanctuary, my oasis of peace. I call it my gypsy palace. A lot of these photos are from before Lady Gaga made the place her own, so since then she's of course fit the place with her own unique style. The home was listed at almost 25 million, but apparently Gaga bought it for 23 mil. Either way, the price tag seems about right for the size of this estate. For a house this big, you'd be surprised to know there are only three bedrooms. Lady Gaga actually converted several bedrooms into space for her wardrobe. In her room full of clothes, she has plenty of custom designs like a cape from Alexander McQueen and pieces from Versace. In a separate chamber, she said that she has racks upon racks of leather and feathers and sequins and a lot of black. Her dressing room even has a fridge inside. Gaga's master suite has a full gym, two fireplaces, and a private outdoor terrace with views of the ocean. Not to mention there are his and hers bathrooms with heated stone flooring and his and hers walk-in closets. I guess that's just even more closet space for Gaga. Lady Gaga also said how much she loves pink and how it's a relaxing color to her. Her home is of course full of it including a pink sofa and a giant pink rug to name a few things. The previous owner of this mansion was Dan Romanelli who was part of the Warner Brothers team and worked on all of the Batman merch. So when he built the home in 2005, he added a Batcave lair. This special lair is accessed through a secret door and passageway from the living room and includes an 800 bottle wine cellar, home movie theater and bar and even a two lane bowling alley. Lady Gaga's mansion has plenty of other amazing features, a lot of which are outside. Of course, there's a large saltwater pool and hot tub, and there are beautiful rose gardens across the property too. Much of the space outside is dedicated to horses, and Gaga has a few of her own. There's a barn with stalls for up to 8 horses, a tack and feed room, a large riding arena, 4 grass pens, and 2 large grazing pastures. Not to mention there are riding trails throughout the property. Seeing all the features of Lady Gaga's home and all of the peaceful outdoor space on the estate, it's no surprise she calls this place her sanctuary. So now we've seen Lady Gaga's luxury home in Chelsea, New York, her primary estate in Malibu which is a beautiful mansion, and more. It's no doubt that Lady Gaga has made some big investments with her properties but the star can obviously afford it and it seems like she really loves her homes. I'm not sure if she owns any more real estate but if there's something I missed let me know in the comments. I want to know what you guys think, did you guys like Lady Gaga's $23 million mansion or no? I think that her property is beautiful and it's definitely a bonus with all of that land and space for horses. I'm sure she writes most of her amazing music at her Malibu sanctuary. Alright guys, that's all I could find on Lady Gaga's homes. Which place did you like the best? Her upscale NYC house or her main mansion in Malibu? Let me know in the comments. And let me know some other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat more. And I'll see you next time with some more videos. Bye! Girl,